So you want to buy a black shape prime. Maybe you're thinking, I've seen that plane before, but it was called something else. Hmm, quite possible. The black shape prime story starts with a little wooden kit plane, the Vidor Asso X Jewel, one of many designed by Giuseppe Vidor. It's got a respectable cruise speed of 154 knots. Then along comes Millennium Aircraft. They designed an all carbon fiber version of the X Jewel. They called it the Millennium Master, which is an unfortunate name, but in the early 2000s, everything was called Millennium this or Y2K that. It had a slightly shorter wing and a slightly longer fuselage, but it weighed about the same, and it managed to be 10 knots faster with the same engine. The only real difference is that the carbon fiber allowed the airframe to be a lot smoother and produce less drag. And while there was nothing really wrong with the plane, the business itself didn't survive, though the design was picked up by two separate companies. First was Black Shape. They took the Millennium Master design and released it almost exactly as is, with only very minor changes to the outside, but a fairly spruced up interior. The next group to pick up the design was Pelegrin out of Latvia. They made some changes to the design, however, and they called it the Tarragon. The airframe is stretched 13 inches and has a 400 pound increased gross weight, while Pelegrin only sells the Tarragon as a build assist kit, which actually requires you to travel to Latvia for a couple of weeks to do your portion. I recommend targeting the summer months, and you must try the Kvass. Of all these planes, the Black Shape Prime is the only one you can buy today ready to fly. And if you did, this is what you'd get. 148 knots from Rotex 912 is exceptional. Otherwise, performance is okay at best. Useful load is only 400 pounds, and a full tank of gas weighs 90 pounds. But don't worry about not having enough weight to carry your bags because there's nowhere to put them. The baggage compartment can hold about as much as a microwave and is located behind the headrest of the passenger seat. But what can you really expect from an airplane that weighs about the same as a large motorbike? If you can find one used, you'll save some money. Depreciation on these new fancy ultralights is pretty severe, although finding one used isn't easy. That's a pretty expensive ask. And you may think, well, it's got a high upfront cost, but operating costs are at least low. Eh, not exactly. Insurance is on the high side, although only about 25% of that is liability. The thing is that the accident rate in these planes isn't great. Considering the lower training and medical requirements to fly this plane, it's fairly high performance. This does have a full airframe parachute, but of the 11 reported accidents this plane has, the parachute wasn't deployed in one. The number one insurance claim on these airplanes is gear up landings. Cost of annuals on the high side too for a relatively small, almost brand new airplane, but a chunk of that annual cost is allocated towards repacking that parachute. Like I said, this plane cruises around 148 knots, which is really high for a Rotex 912. It's also a high fuel burn for a Rotex 912 at 8 gallons an hour. At least the reserve cost for that Rotex is low, and so is unscheduled maintenance. Total costs aren't that high for an airplane, especially one that goes this fast, but they are kind of high for a Rotex powered ultralight, and the cost to acquire is pretty high too. There are many other composite light sport retracts out there, and some people argue why spend a quarter million dollar on a light sport when you could buy a really great Cessna 182. You could even buy a early 2000s extra 300 for that much. The answer is for the same reason why people buy brand new Honda Gold Wings and brand new Mazda Miatas. You know, you could buy an 8-year-old Corvette for that. The truth is, not everybody wants an 8-year-old Corvette or a 15-year-old extra 300. Some people just want a brand new slick airplane with about as much practicality as a brand new motorbike for the same price as a slightly used highly practical airplane or a slightly used highly practical car, which I think is fantastic. There aren't a whole lot of new planes available for sale. If these guys can find a market for theirs, terrific. That's the Black Shape Prime. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.